Oh folks, today I'm going to show you how to do Ethernet bonding on your Ubuntu server. Um, Ethernet bonding is uh, one way to create an additionally fault tolerance on your server, you know, besides on uh, having a redundant power supply and a RAID 1 or more likely a RAID 5. And um, in order to do that, we have to um, install the event slave uh, kernel module. In order to do that, we have to type sudo apt install and then if and slave enter. All right, and the next thing we have to do is we have to create um, aliases for the bonding, and we have to type for that sudo nano etc probe.d slash aliases now we have to create that file this file by default doesn't exist okay and then we have to create the alias for the bond this alias bond zero and then bond name and then we have to give them some options now here we specify what kind of mode of bonding we're using. And I'm using the mo uh, mode one. This is active, passive, failover. And um, I will put some more detailed explanation on those uh, six modes that's available for that purpose uh, on my blog. Uh, you will see the address on the end on that video. And then we have to create uh, the, the monitor that should monitor the bond every hundred milliseconds. All right, this is done and get out of here, save that. And then the next thing we have to do is we have to modify our interfaces file and just start our editor on that interfaces file interfaces and then we have to comment comment out the ETH, yeah, eth zero interface and we have to create the new bond so it's bond interface with bond zero interface bond, bond zero Giving a static IP address. Address would be two as you say zero dot twenty five. And then the net mask be a class C network. Um, then specify my gateway one. And then we have to specify basically the slaves in uh, this bond. That would be the optional slaves. And then ETH0, ETH1. And that's basically it. I'm going to save that. And then uh, in order to uh, activate um, the bond, Gotta reboot the server, so and if I do that, it will kick me out here. So uh, bear with me for a few seconds. Well, let's reboot the server. All right, so now it kicked me off, and I'm monitoring it here on my other screen. almost up there we go and if everything worked correctly then we can SSH to our new recreated bond and there we go yes enter your password enter and there we go and then by doing if config you will see here we have now the bond zero and uh, 
part of that bond is ETH0 and ETH1. And you see that ETH0 and ETH1 doesn't have any IP addresses assigned, but if you scroll a little bit up, you'll see here on the bond zero that it's using the IP address we have assigned to it. So um, I hope that helped and I would appreciate it if you uh, show up on my blog for uh, more detailed information on those bonds you can, uh, you can use. You know, there are six different ones. I would put a short explanation on um, all those six modes and yeah, um, sign up to my blog and sign up to my channel, post comments on her and even send me an email if you um, like to do something but don't know how to get started with it. Um, I'm very happy to help out and create another video here that will help you folks. So thank you very much and see you next time.